In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write a MATLAB script to solve a differential equation using the fourth order of runger cutting method that I introduced in, in the previous video on, a, on YouTube. So this example of a script to solve. So the differential equation we're going to solve is dy dx is equal to sine of x plus cosine of y. And we're going to have initial condition y of 0 is equal to 5. We're going to solve this using the fourth order Runge kind of method. And I'm going to start by clearing the workspace and the command window. So clear CLC. My parameters for this simulation are h is equal to 0 0.1. It's my step size. I'm just guessing that that's going to be appropriate. We'll adjust that afterwards to make sure our solution is converged. And I'll say my x final, I'm going to solve this for, uh, say, 55 units. And I just kind of chose that number I wanted my solution to go out to x is equal to 55. So I'm going to solve from x is equal to 0 to x final. OK. I need to give the code my initial condition, which is going to be x of 1 is equal to 0, and y of 1 is equal to 5. Um, the other thing I want to do is define the ODE function handle, which is a, is a function that when I give it an xy location, it's going to return um, the, the right-hand side of the differential equation. So f my slope is equal to a function of x and y, and that function of x and y is sine of x plus cosine of y. So that's just MATLAB notation to define a function. So whenever I call f and give it a value for x, say 1, and y value of 5, it's going to return the sine of 1 plus the cosine of 5. So that's just what that is doing. Now I'm going to have my runger cut of 4 loop, my fourth order runger cut of loop. I'm going to do 4 i is equal to 1 through, and here I'm going to use the seal of x final divided by h. So what is that? Well, it's, um, let's just start with x final over h. x final is the distance I wanted to solve for, and h is my step size. Now I do x final divided by h. That's going to be the number of steps I need to take. Now, <clears throat> that might not come out as an integer, so I'm going to take the seal of that, and seal just returns an integer. If you have questions about how seal works, just type help seal into the command window, and it will come up. So, for example, you can do help seal, and you can get more information about the seal. So it says rounds the elements of x to the nearest integer towards infinity. So it rounds up. Okay. So inside my RK4 loop, I need to update x. I'm going to say x of i plus 1 is equal to x of i plus h. The standard x update that's the same for Euler's method, Hume's method, or the fourth order run cut method. Then we'll update y. And the y update is the fourth order, it's the fourth order run cut update which is going to be, we have to define all these k's. So k1 is equal to f of x of i, comma y of i. k2 is going to be f of x of i plus 0 0.5 times h. And this is just directly out of, of the notes. And then I need my y value. y of i plus 0 0.5 times k1 times h. And if you're confused about where these equations are coming from, you need to watch the previous video. K3 looks a lot like K2, so I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to say K3, K4. K4 doesn't have the half here. I'm going to remove the halves. K4 depends on K3. K3 depends on K2. And let's just be nice and line things up so we can see all of the differences. So that's the four k's that are needed to do that. We're going to cut an update. And finally, we have y i plus 1 is equal to y of i plus h divided by 6 times k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4. And that's the uh, full update using the runner cutter method. Uh, the spaces in here, spaces don't really matter, so I've only used spaces to kind of help legibility. So I think it looks neater if I write it that way. Now I'm going to plot the result. I'm going to plot x comma y, put a label 
on the axis, so x label x, y label y, and I'll make the font a little bit bigger, so set GCA, that means get current axes. I uh, will change the font of all the axes, so font size, and we'll make it, say, 16. So that's how, that's a code that should solve the fourth order, of, this differential equation using the fourth order of cutting method. If uh, I run that, so let's just save it. We get, this is our result. So it's a combination of sines and cosines. Um, maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. How can we check this? Well, let's make our function something that we know the solution to. So let's say our slope is just one. If our slope is just one, our solution to that is just uh, y is equal to x, and we get a straight line that has slope one, starts at five, because that's our initial condition. So that seems to work. Uh, we could try sine of x. The solution to that is a cosine function, and that looks like cosine function. It starts at five with zero slope and goes on. So I'm pretty confident that our routine is working. Um, if we really want to do this carefully, I just do a solution that I knew the analytic solution to, and uh, just double checked it. And I kind of did that with the, the sine and the sine function and the, the one function. So that is how we can solve this differential equation using MATLAB and the fourth order run Kata method.